in a way it's a preparation because many a time we find that a person can bend forward because he looks forward and it's an easy move, motion for him. Whereas if person has to bend backward, it's not an easy motion because it's unknown. We never bend back. We always bend forward easily. If I have to pick up something, I bend forward. You sit in the chair and if you have to pick up, you just bend forward. But you never bend backward. That backward bend is something going from known to unknown, um, which is difficult. You see, something is known and then you have to go to unknown at the back. This is forward is known. It requires a practice. The brain also has to reverse in its understanding. Looking forward is easier. Looking backward is difficult. So it's not when to start or etc. To get the sense of direction, to get the freedom of the mind, to get that uh, uh, courage to do back, bend, back bending action or backward extension action, the ropes are very helpful. So we have to train them gradually how to develop the courage how to get the freedom of the body. When we say freedom of the body, how many of you really know what is the freedom of the body? They are always caught inside. They are somewhere tight inside. Only if at all any problem with the body has to be understood is only either the disease or stiffness. People just say, oh, my body is stiff. Or they will say that, oh, I'm very heavy. I cannot manage. It's not only the thing. The thing is that how from inside you create the space required where the body shows its rigidity, hardness, not from outside only, but even inside. How that freedom will be understood. Many times we don't understand the freedom. For example, if we are under the pressure, the f other side as a freedom will not be understood. When only the freedom is given, up to some extent then we realize, oh, this is the freedom. So how we are going to understand in yoga, what is the freedom? Otherwise, everybody will think that everything is perfect, their body is not diseased, they are okay, so nothing to worry about. But the, the range of the freedom also has to be understood. So with the practice only it is possible. So the uh, yoga kuranta helps in that way, which breaks the barriers of the mind. Normally, we always think that we cannot do this. So it will teach us how to go up to that, where we think that we can, up to that horizon where we think that we cannot do. So to get the freedom is something which has to be understood where, the, where there is a bondage. The freedom is against that bondage, which has to be understood. And that's why Yoga Kuranta helps in that way to understand the new horizons which opens for the body as well as mind.